What time is it? It's 12 o'clock noon. Oh wow, it means it's lunch time. Well, in South Africa, but in other countries, it could be breakfast or supper or snack time. Hi everyone, my name is Shadea. My name is Shadea. Welcome to a video ministry of Grace TV. Here we serve bite-sized spiritual meals, or you can call it Bible study online. This is every weekdays, from Tuesday until Friday. So wherever you are in the world, before we anything else, Soul Food First! Now on Season 2! This is Pastor Din Padalhag. Welcome to Soul Food. We've been talking about the new things in the dispensation of grace. Number one, we talk about knowing Christ in His resurrected and glorified state and as the foundation and the head of the body of Christ. Number two, we talk about the new dispensation, the dispensation of grace. The Bible says we are not under the law, but under grace. Number three, we talk about the new apostle, the apostle Paul. He is the apostle of the Gentiles. Number four, we talk about the new message, the message of grace, that is Christ's death for our sin, his burial, his resurrection, and this is the gospel of our salvation. Number five, we talk about the imputed righteousness. This is the new righteousness that is from God, and that is because of his grace and our faith in the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ on the cross and there is no involvement of any human work or observance of the law and then number six we talk about the new creation that is the church the body of Christ the church in this present dispensation of grace and in this church, we have the believing Jews and Gentiles being put together through the divine baptism of the Holy Spirit. Now, let's talk about number seven, the new hope. Matthew chapter 19 verse 28 tells us that the hope of the 12 apostles and the people of Israel is the coming kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ to be established in Israel. But in the dispensation of grace, our blessed hope is recorded in Titus chapter 2 verse 13. The Bible says, Looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Now the culminating event of the dispensation of grace is the rapture. The rapture is the cutting away of the believers from this earth to heaven, our place of citizenship and a place of destiny. When rapture comes in a flash, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, all those who were dead in Christ shall be raised. And together, we who are alive, we will be changed. God will clothe us with imperishable, immortal, and glorified bodies. Then together we will meet the Lord in the air, and then we will be with the Lord forever, as indicated to us in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 51 down to verse 54, and also 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 14 down to verse 18. Now, why are we going to heaven? That's a question that we have to answer. It is a very important question. Why not on earth? Why we are not going to stay on earth? Well, it is because our place of citizenship as members of the body of Christ is in heaven. Philippians chapter 3, verse 20, the Bible says that we are citizens of heaven and also, the Bible talks about our blessings 
as members of the body of Christ are all in heaven. Spiritual blessings, they are all in heaven. Now, number eight, new standard of living. Nowhere in the scriptures we find that because we are saved by grace that we can just do whatever we want to do. The grace that saves us is also the same grace that teaches us to live godly while we are still serving the Lord on this earth. Titus chapter 2 verses 11 down to verse 12 the Bible says, for the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. And then verse 12 says, Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age. And then Colossians chapter 2 verse 6, uh, the Bible says, as, uh, as, you were, as you are therefore have received, Jesus Christ, the Lord, so walk in Him, rooted and built up in Him, and established in the faith, as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. And then we have number nine, new baptism. The Bible speaks of at least 12 different kinds of baptism. And the majority of this baptism have nothing to do with water. In other dispensations, there were plenty of baptisms. Some involved with water and some were not. But according to Ephesians chapter 4 verse 5, in the dispensation of grace, our apostle, the apostle Paul, talks about one baptism. This baptism is not ritual, but real, not performed by human hands, but by the Holy Spirit. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 13, the Bible tells us that by one Spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Again, the performer of this baptism is the Holy Spirit. And then Colossians chapter 2 verse 12 says, Buried with him in baptism in which you also were raised with him through faith in the working of God. This is a baptism that is again in the working of God, performed by God and not by human beings. As we see, it is not water baptism, but this baptism is our identification in Christ's death, burial, and resurrection as indicated to us in the book of Romans chapter 6 verses 3 down to verse 4. Number 10, new ministry and commission. In this dispensation of grace, believers are called ambassadors of Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verses 18 down to verse 20 the Bible says now all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation that is that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself not imputing their trespasses to them and has committed to us the word of reconciliation now then, we are ambassadors for Christ as though God were pleading through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. As ambassadors, we represent Christ and heaven before this world. We have a message of reconciliation to preach and we have a ministry of grace to do. Number 11 new blessings the bible says that our blessings are spiritual in heavenly places they are in heaven ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 the bible says blessed be the god and father of our lord jesus christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in christ that is why the bible 
teaches us through Apostle Paul in Colossians chapter 3 verses 1 through verse 3 that we have to focus our minds and our hearts on things above. Why? Because we are going to heaven, we are citizens of heaven, and our blessings are also in heaven. And all these material things, the physical blessings that we experience, all of these are just bonuses and extras of our spiritual blessings in the Lord Jesus Christ. Number 12, new security. In the dispensation of grace, the Holy Spirit is not upon us, but in us. He takes residence in our hearts. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 16 down to verse 17, the Bible tells us that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. The presence of the Holy Spirit in us guarantees our eternal life and our assurance of our salvation. And the Bible says that no one and nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. In Romans chapter 8, verses 35 down to verse 39, the Bible says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. And then in verse 38, For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. And then verse 39, Nor height, nor depth, nor any created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hallelujah for this blessed assurance we have in the Lord Jesus Christ by grace through faith. Beloved, tune in tomorrow as we continue with this series. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your soul food.